Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the question number 8 from CBSC class 10, 2023-24. Practice questions for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section A which is multiple choice questions for one mark each. Now this question is from the circles chapter. Two circles with center O and N touch each other at point P. O, P, N are collinear. The radius of the circle with center O is twice that of the circle with center N. O, X is a tangent to the circle with center N and O, X is equal to 18 cm. What is the radius of the circle with center N? Now let us understand the question first. Here it is given that there are two circles. One is the larger circle with center O and another one is a smaller circle with center N. And these two circles touch each other at one point P. Now the next thing is they have given O, P, N are collinear. Collinear means all the three points fall on the same line. So you can draw a straight line which passes through the points O, P, N. Now the radius of the circle with center O is twice that of the circle with center N. Now let us consider the radius of the smaller circle as Nx. And let us say that the radius is R for the smaller circle. And it is given that the radius of the larger circle is two times that of the radius of the smaller circle. So here if we have taken the radius of smaller circle as R, the radius of the larger circle is going to be two times R. So we can write it this way. And the next thing is they have given OX is a tangent to the circle with center N. Tangent is a line which touches the circle externally at only one point. This tangent cannot enter the circle. It has to just brace off from this circle at one point. Now the length of OX is given as 18 cm. So let us write here 18. Now since I have written the radius nx as r, I can also write the radius np as r because np is also radius and nx is also radius of the same circle with center n. Now one thing you need to know over here is whenever a tangent touches a circle on the radius, it always makes a 90 degree angle with the radius of the circle. So actually we have formed a triangle here. A right angled triangle as you can see which is right angled at the point X. So let me redraw this triangle again so that you understand it well. So I have drawn a right angled triangle here. Now it is right angled at point X so let me write here X and opposite to the point X there is side ON. So opposite to this side should be ON. Now out of that OX is 18 cm. So we will write O here. So OX is 18 cm. And the smaller side is going to be NX. So let me write N over here. And we have taken that as radius R. So let us write here R. So we have got the right angle triangle ONX now. Now here ON. Let us look at the side ON. Now here OP is 2R and PN is R. So total length of ON is going to be 2R plus R. So here the total length of ON is going to be 3R. So similarly let us write here ON is 3R. Now once you have got this, it becomes very easy to find out the R. That is by using the Pythagoras theorem. So Pythagoras theorem is the hypotenuse square that is O n square is equal to sum of the square of the rest two sides. So here one of the side is n so we will write n x square plus O x square the other side. Now O n is nothing but 3 r so we are going to write it as 3 r square the entire thing is going to get squared. So nx is r, so let us write here r square plus ox is 18, so 18 square. Next we are going to simplify this. 
3 square is 9 and r square we will write here. So, both are getting squared equal to r squared plus 18 squared. So, let us write here 18 squared. Now, let us take the like terms on one side of equal to sign. We have 9 r square and plus r square becomes minus r square equal to 18 square. 18 square is 324. Now, 9 r square minus r square is nothing but 8 r square. So, let us write 8 r square is equal to 324. And let us take 8 on the other side of equal to sign. So, we have r square is equal to 324 divided by 8. Now, both of them go in the table of 4. So, we can write 4 2 times is 8 and 4 8 times is 32 and 4 1 times is 4. So, this fraction cannot be reduced further. So, we have r square is equal to 81 over 2 or we will take the square on other side of equal to sign. So, r is equal to square becomes square root of 81 over 2. Now, once you get the square root, you can just split the square root to the numerator and denominator separately. So, we can write square root of 81 over square root of 2. Now, square root of 81 is 9 and square root of 2 is non-simplifiable. So, we will write square root of 2. So, the answer or the radius of the smaller circle which is r is 9 over root 2. So, let us check if this is in the options above. Yes, here it is option C, 9 over square root of 2. So, remember to form a small triangle, a right angle triangle by understanding the relationship given in the question. So, once you have understood that, using the Pythagoras theorem, you can find out the radius of the bigger circle as well as the smaller circle. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.